To some people, climate change is fake news, while to others, it's scientific and it's real. To us on the ground, what do we think about climate change, the experts, the consultants, and the farmers? Now, I'm in Cameroon, we are in Africa, and we will tell you firsthand that climate change is real. Today, we experience more sunlight and heat than never before. And Africa suffers so much from the effect of climate change. I'm going to show it to you right away. Okay, this is a white pepper farm, as you can see, how beautiful it looks. But now, it only became this beautiful after one month of rainfall. In the dry season, this farm was highly affected, this white pepper farm. You can see, this is a white pepper uh, stand, a plant. Look at how dry it is. Now, this is what happened to so many pepper farms during the dry season. Many of these plants were highly affected by drought. And no matter how much our brother here struggled to fix the problem, it was very difficult for him to do irrigation. It was very difficult. You had to carry um, water from a long distance to water the entire field. Almost 2,000 plants, I think. 4,000 plants. It was so difficult to him. So people like him go through a lot of challenges as a result of climate change. He had to employ more people to spend more. Now, Look at this. This is what is happening right now, the effects of climate change. We are here. We are here to find a simple solution. And these solutions are within the range. It's within things we can do. There are little things we can do to fight it. Even as smallholder farmers, there are little initiatives and innovations we can bring in. This is a lemon grass. With this lemon grass, we are hoping to grow at least 3,500 in this field. So that during the rainy season, we can harvest and then use it as what? As mulch. To do what? To prevent excessive loss of water from the soil during the heart of the dry season. And it also helped Mr. Benjamin in times where climate water is insufficient to be able to do what? To water and then don't do it frequently because the water will not be lost easily. So these are simple solutions we can use. But what I want to say in general is this. These solutions are insufficient. There are things we can do. We can also support farmers with irrigation uh, tools so they can properly irrigate their farms because this can only do a little more to help his farm but it will not really solve what is going on in Africa. This is real and presently what we are doing, this is an extra cost for a smallholder farmer is paying people to be able to work and dig and plant this. He bought this, the seedlings, he bought them. So this is an extra cost for a smallholder farmer who is trying to survive. And with the limited resources, it's difficult for them to be able to make profit out of farming. So we are here to, to, to just educate and share stories like this. Climate change is real. And we Africans, we contribute less in climate change, they suffer the most. And today, hundreds and um, millions of um, um, smallholder farmers are suffering. We have to take action. This is a celebrity uh, farmer, Jivoti Prince, um, Sustain Africa, and we are so glad that you're following us and you're also taking action in your own way. Thank you so much.